thing that we talk a lot about at GearBrain. You have a number of different brands that are making this today. Obviously, almost everyone's heard of Amazon Alexa, it's Google Home. Uh, Apple has a new one that's out, um, the uh, HomePod. We have Samsung is building uh, right. one right now. Uh, so you got Samsung, the, LG has some, Sony has some. You Harman Kardon has Harman Kardon has come out with there's Sonos. A, there's a million of them. And they definitely range in price going in on certain days of the year. You can get these devices at pretty much probably at Twen cost. Or 20 25 bucks. bucks. Uh, sometimes they're going to be upwards of four to $500. Yeah. But why would you want one of these glowing little um, flat disks in your room? This is, just happens to be the Amazon, this is the Alexa, um, the Echo Dot. And it's just heard its name, so it turned to blue. Okay, so Alexa, go to sleep. Okay. Um, so one of the reasons you might want one of these is a way to control all of your devices. You can, a lot of the devices that we're talking about here, Philips Hue lights, yep. uh, some of these smart plugs, yep. right? You're gonna be able to run them just by talking out loud. You'll say, Alexa, run the X. Alexa heard its name again and it'll start to operate it. You can use just your voice to get um, things happening in your dorm room in a pretty small space. Another reason you might want a smart speaker, it gives you access to news, it gives you access to the weather, and some of the colleges today are actually building uh, skills for Amazon Alexa, they're called Alexa skills. Google Home has a Google Assistant. Um, they're not called skills, they're uh, apps. And, uh, but the Alexa skills, anybody can write them. So they're popping up on colleges. Right. You'll see there's one, Ohio State has one, USC has one. Uh, there's a number of colleges that are just sort of building them. You can find one for vegan pizza in you know, certain parts of the South. It's, it's pretty fun. And you'll just basically uh, tell the device, hey, can you pull up X Alexa skill and it'll open up and you'll be able to get some information. And these are really inexpensive. Once you have it, that, that's like an important thing to note. You're not paying for a service. You're just getting access to that information for free. Right, right. And, that, and that's the thing is it, it depends on, you know, we've seen over the last nine months more and more devices having uh, the Alexa voice uh, system built right into the devices. So they're kind of an extension of your Echo or Echo, any kind of your Echo devices. So, um, you know, I think as Lauren mentioned, you know, the dot, and, and even the, uh, the Google Home Mini, they're small. They, they have a speaker in it, you can talk and everything, but depending on what you want to use it for, you know, uh, they're relatively, the dots and the Google Homes are inexpensive, around 25 bucks. The Google Home is about 130. There's displays where There's you can use. Uh, displays where you now. You have yep. video chats with people. Right, and if you have, if, you're an, if you go the, uh, the Amazon route with smart speakers, you're talking about everything from a alarm clock with Echo Spot connected to an Echo Dot that could be connected to Bluetooth speakers, which we'll get into shortly. Uh, you, or you can have a connected Echo or Echo Show is the one with the tablet, a seven inch screen. But if you go the Google route, you're talking about a Google Home Mini that you yeah. can connect to a Bluetooth or, or the Google, um, uh, right now, the Google Home is about 130 bucks. Uh, but they're running constant sales and we're sure there'll be, there'll be more sales you know, I think I saw recently Google Home uh, had Home Mini three for seventy five dollars. Right. You know, so that's not expensive. We know you're going to spend right. more on that. Um, and you can hook them up, friends. and you know what? If you you and your friends, if you want, it's up to you guys. Uh, the nice thing about the Echoes and these, you could use them as intercoms. And so you want to call to your buddy in another room. If you, as long as you hook them all up together, yeah. you know, through the same app, you'll be able to do, uh, you know, kind of a, a well. Google, it's duo calling, and you could actually do it through, uh, if you have a Google Home Mini, you could do it through your uh, Chromecast. Uh, if you have uh, an Echo Show or Fire TV Stick, I believe you can go the same way around and do video calling. Right. Uh, and that. So they're kind of fun little devices. Their kids get a kick out of it. And if you have one at home and you hook it up to your son's room, you can actually call your son's room, whether yeah. they an or daughter's room. Not whether they home. answer it or not is a different story, uh, but at least you'll be able to do it. And it's all done in the app. Uh, it's very simple and easy. It's one click, easy setup, and, and kids seem to like it. Plus, you also, you know, because it's music, you'll get two million songs for, I think, both Google Home or Google Music and then or Alexa. I'm not really sure on the Google Amazon side. Amazon Music. Amazon Music. Yeah. So that, that'll be good. And... 
Uh, and anybody, you know, listening, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, post any questions. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And if you're watching this after we've gone live, uh, feel free to submit questions to GearBrain and we'll, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have on any of these devices uh, or any other challenge that you're faced with with regards to any connected device. And another thing about the smart speakers that are really fun is just the number of skills and apps that are kind of coming up. Uh, and I, it's not that hard. We actually have on the site a way to actually, there, there are instructions on how to, act, to write your own Alexa skill if right. you wanted to. Uh, for someone who wants to be a coder, for somebody who wants to dabble a little bit in technology, right. for someone who's got a little bit of a maker culture around them, right. it's a fun thing to do. Uh, it can be something that you guys could do with friends, but there are a ton of skills. We really can't emphasize that yeah. enough. And Games and, and right. abilities and things to do to play with these devices. Right, and we, and we can make it easy for you uh, because it, it is, there, it's kind of nice coming home and saying, you know, in your room by yourself, saying and talking to someone. I think that was one of the initial things that came out. A lot of the commercials that we yeah. had was like people talking in the kitchen, you know, to their to their Amazon Alexa here, um, you know, which was kind of fun. Um, and you know, it's uh, Google same thing. You know, you can do depending on which one you like. They're both very very good, and they both serve a purpose. Thank you.